Hi everyone, it's Rob from the Wild Camper Channel here. So, uh, I made camp and uh, I had a warm welcome from the team. Forest Prepper and Johnny Bushcraft have put on a, a good show so far, so good. And I uh, thought I'd just show you around my setup. I've gone for a slightly larger tent than I normally do. I normally bring, because uh, I'm here for the whole weekend, I thought I might as well be here in comfort. <clears throat> So, here we go. Your living area. Got the full cook station. Plenty of food, plenty of water. Little gas fire, and uh, I've got the door open so I don't kill myself too quickly. Cut bottles of red. Got the Coleman. Extreme, Ugh, which I can't even open. Ugh, I can't even open it. That's got all my cold food in there. Um, and I'm trying a new, a new uh, item. I purchased one of these camp beds, and uh, I'm hoping it's going to be uh, warm enough. I've got blanket, foam mat, reflective, another blanket, and then the uh, the wrap, the neutrino. Endurance 600, which you've seen before if you've watched any of other videos. So hopefully that's going to keep me toasty. Um, I've got the V-Lux as well, should I need it, but it's, it's pretty comfy. I don't really need that as of yet. Top ones are outdoor temperature. Bottom ones obviously inside, so there's a fair difference there. I've only just put the heater on, so that's, that's negligible. All my junk strewn about. And we got gifted these, which is quite nice. A little first aid kit and a glow stick. And um, um, forgive me, left, you have to forgive me. I've forgotten who uh, who actually gave us those. Uh, Forest was handing them out. This is what I'm in, the Van Gogh Beta 450XL. See how she fares tonight. <coughs> it's Mr. Dar Darkerbax. It is, yes. Darkerbax oh. prepper with his uh, trusty waterproof ish. <laughs> ish. <laughs> the bits that are covered by a tarp. Yeah. <laughs> is it fitting? It's very fitting, very it's a bit tight. Snug. That's where we like it, lads, isn't it? Nice and tight. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> need, need to be. Uh, I think you need the next size up to be fair. Extra large, mate. <laughs> We've uh, invited ourselves over to uh, the two Richies camps, Randor 74. <laughs> I can't remember his channel name. Ricky Bushcraft. That's it. How, how could I forget the one and only oh, Mr. Rookie Bushcraft, who's doing a bit of tiling by the looks of it. <laughs> What's this? Don't do this at home, kids. No. Not after no. a bottle of red wine. No, it's never a good thing. <laughs> I'm very jealous of Richie's setup. It's uh, exactly what I want. Oh, yes. We're getting in now. Looking epic. Yeah, they're getting there. It's chilly. up to midnight. I'm, uh, I've called it a day so I'm going to just uh, prepare for bed now. I'm looking forward to getting in that. <laughs> Morning. It was cold last night. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll just show you something. I don't know if you can... you can see the steam coming off my hands. I've just washed them in ice cold water in the, uh, 
in the toilet block. Let me just show you. It's a wee bit frosty. I've also learnt, like I think I said earlier, these canisters do not work well in the cold. Um, so always have a backup to your backup. So that was my primary cooking sauce for this weekend. My backup is a stove, which I think I jinxed in my last outing because I said it was bomb proof. It's now, when I pump it up, it's pissing fluid out the bottom and it's just flooding this whole little uh, box lid here. So I'm not using it, it's too, too unsafe. So if any of you guys have got any ideas why it's doing that, you can, uh, you can let me know in the box below. So, back up to back up to back up. Can't go wrong with it. <laughs> I've said it now, Trangia. Just works. So. So, the back up to back up to back up is the, uh, the Trangia, the Trangia. I believe it's properly pronounced, and that's uh, that's worked like a dream, nice and quick. So live and learn, people. Live and learn. <laughs> They're cool, aren't they? Pull some birds. Funny, isn't it? So myself and Andy have taken a little stroll. We are uh, down there somewhere, the tent. Just taking a 15, 20 minute wander through the woods, which was uh, a little bit hard going after a heavy breakfast, but we got there. So we, uh, we made it to the top and uh, just descending there on a different route back to the campsite. The terrain is uh, pretty steep. So the weather's been good, so it's uh, reasonably dry for this time of the year. Just taking it slow and steady because there are uh, sort of mossy rocks everywhere and trip hazards all over the place. There's not path as such, it's just uh, hot luck really. <laughs> right guys, going for my staple dinner. Steak, mashed potato, and some veggies. Um, I was outside around a campfire but old wind is picking up a bit and uh, I realised it's going to be a little bit cold so uh, I'll get some food in me, get some calories down my throat and uh, warm up with the help of a little fire and uh, then go back out in a bit. Of Dean meat. Had a good time. Not a lot of filming done this time because uh, too much chit chat and fun to be had, and uh, a lot of things weren't maybe appropriate to film. But uh, 
I'm quite sure. So yeah, it's uh, it's been good fun. A uh, good bunch of guys, and again, thank you to uh, the team that put it together. Uh, Paul, Forest Prepper, and uh, Richie. Randor 72, I mean a sterling effort, feeding 80 odd people a um, three course dinner is not something that most people can do, so um, yeah, fair play lads. So yeah, I'm on my way home now, the sat now telling me I've got about two and a half hours. Um, I found out last night I've got to work this afternoon, so uh, that's nice. Got a bit wet last night, a bit windy. Uh, the tent I was using was okay, I did the job, I was pretty much toasty the second night, so uh, yeah, it's all good. But, uh, I'd like to come back to the Forest of Dean and do more of a, a traditional, you know, my normal wild camp, uh, rather than a campsite one. So uh, yeah, it's good. It's good, uh, people talk about the community spirit on the YouTube, bushcraft survivalist prepper thing, and uh, yeah, it was, it was rife, that community spirit. Over the last two nights, everyone helping each other out, um, lending kit, tents, everything. Really good, really good. So uh, if you haven't been to one before, it's, uh, it's something I'd recommend you do. Don't be shy. Only a few of them buy.